tutorial is destined to members of the Senate Research Committee, of the Research Ethics Board, of the Ethics Review Committee for Student Research, and of the Animal Care and Biosafety Committee. You are uh, acting as reviewers on ethics applications or on funding applications. When a funding application or an ethics protocol is submitted, the research office will forward it to its committee members for their comments and review prior to the committee meeting. You will receive an email saying that you have received a protocol or an application to be reviewed, and you will be asked to log in to your research portal to access the protocol. Please note that you will now be reviewing protocols or applications throughout the BU research portal only. You may come to the research homepage and click on BU Research Portal. For the purposes of this tutorial, um, I would like to thank Dr. Claude Charpentier and Dr. Christian Burko who have agreed to allow me to uh, use their names in order to make this demonstration. So I will log in and work as these two individuals. So Dr. Claude Charpentier has received an email saying that she has a protocol that needs to be reviewed. So she will log in to her research portal. This is her home page. And if you look at the left-hand menu, you will see that she has three roles. She has projects in which she is principal investigator. She has projects in which she's identified as a project team member. And she has the role of reviewer. In red is applications reviewer. This is where she re is required to submit her comments on an application as part of her committee work. So she may open this application and she will see Mr. Sherlock Holmes's ethics application, which we call test application video tutorial for the purposes of this video. In order to proceed with the review, she will click on view. Now, she has access to the entire ethics application. She may view all questions in all tabs. And the main form here is the exact same form that is submitted in this case to the Research Ethics Board. And she may see Sherlock's answers. If she wishes to review or comment, she may click on the Review button at the top of the page and she will be prompted to enter her comments. It is very important to identify the section that she is reviewing. So for example, if she has a comment to make on section 2.1, please identify the section and enter your comment. Please clarify, for example. She may save her comment and close Note, it has not yet been submitted to me. She's not quite done reviewing. Close the comment box and continue looking at the application. If in another section she has a comment to make, for example, on question number 3.1, she may click on review again. Her previous comment will still be there. She will add the section that she wishes to comment on. Uh, please name all research assistants, for example. And once again, click Save and Close. If after reading all of the sections of the form, after having accessed all of the attachments, in this case um, there are no other attachments, she is satisfied that these are the only two comments that she wishes to make. She may submit the comments. The research office will have activated a function that will make comments made by all reviewers visible to other reviewers. So if we go back in, and thank you for your patience, and I work as Dr. Christian Burkle, who happens to be also the chair of this committee. In red he has role of reviewer, applications, and he is the chair, which means that he will be the one who will need to make the review decision. Very important, the chair must not make the review decision until all committee members have submitted their comments. 
Therefore, I recommend that committee chairs wait until the very last minute, until the deadline to submit comments, in order to make the review decision. Because once the review decision has been made, other committee members may not access the form in order to make their own comments. By clicking on this, and by clicking on View, he may go ahead and make his own comments. For example, perhaps on section 5.1, he wishes to say, please cite the appropriate literature. He will save, but not yet submit. Close. If he clicks, or any other reviewer for that matter, clicks on Committee Reviews, he will be able to see the comments made by other committee members. This feature is accessible to all committee members. Those who haven't yet replied, obviously, their comments are not visible. This is why the chair should not um, submit a review decision before all comments have been made. If upon reviewing other aspects of the protocol, the chair says, um, I don't know, section 6.2, please state whether the computer is password protected, and that is his final comment, he may now make a review decision. Only the chair has access to this scroll down menu called a research review decision. The options are approved, not approved, or revisions requested. In the case of the ethics committees, the chair is almost always going to be clicking revisions requested. He will then click submit. As chair, the official decision has been made that revisions will be requested. The research officer or the director of research services will be able to compile all comments made by all reviewers, put them into a Word document and forward them to all committee members prior to the meeting. Once the committee has met and discussed each member's comments, a letter of conditional approval or a final approval, as the case may be, will be issued through the research portal. 